Hello and welcome to section 2, SiriKit's new notes domain. In this section, we're going to take a look at SiriKit intents extensions, which is how you implement SiriKit in iOS. We're also going to talk about the property list for the intents extension. We're also going to talk about the principal class used to define what intents your application supports. We're also going to cover the resolve, confirm, and handle methods for interacting with SiriKit. And finally, we'll review some testing procedures for testing an intents extension we're going to cover the SiriKit Intense extension. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a SiriKit Intense extension. We're also going to look at setting up that extension to work with our application. In a moment, we're going to create a SiriKit Intense extension to be able to enable SiriKit in our application. But first, we need to make sure the Siri capability is turned on. So let's go to our project settings by clicking on the project file. And then in the capabilities tab, Let's make sure that Siri is turned on. Now turning on Siri does two things. It adds the Siri feature to your app ID, and it also adds the Siri entitlement to your entitlements file for your application. One quick thing to note, if you are using a explicit app ID that you created through the Apple Developer Portal, you may do well to log into the Apple Developer Portal and make sure that Siri is turned on there as well. Sometimes when you turn things on in Xcode, they don't always make their way through to turning on with explicit app IDs. Now that we have the Siri capability turned on, let's go ahead and create our Intense extension. Let's go up to File, New, Target. So just like any other extension that you can create for your iOS app, the Intense extension is a self-contained application that's embedded inside of your app. So this is how SiriKit works, is through the extension API that has been around for several versions of iOS. Make sure when you're selecting your Intense extension that you select the Intense extension, not Intense UI extension. So the only difference between these is that the Intense UI extension has a user interface component to it, because you can customize the user interface for what Siri displays, while people are interacting with your application. But in this instance, we're not going to create a UI, we're just going to use the standard Siri UI, so we just need the Intense extension. Go ahead and click Next. One quick thing to note throughout this video with Siri, because you do need to have a developer team set up to do Siri Kit, I'm going to actually be blocking out certain sections of information just for privacy sake, but you will need to have a team is the most important thing. So if you aren't signed up for a Apple developer ID, you will need to do so before continuing with this series. Let's go ahead and create a product name for our intense extension. Let's just call it My Notes Intent. EXT, EXT being short for extension. Everything else can be left alone. Uh, one quick thing, it's best practice to have the organization name for any of your extensions be the same as the organization name for your primary application. In this case, it's just my name. Everything else can be left alone uh, as far as language being Swift, project being my notes, embed an application be my notes as well. And we don't want to include any UI to our extension, so we won't have that checked. Go ahead and click Finish. At this point, you may be prompted to activate the scheme for your Intense extension. If you are, go ahead and tell Xcode to activate it. But you could have also told it to never remind you about that again and always activate them like I have. So you may not have to deal with that. There's a few more things we need to do to our Intense extension to make sure it'll work with our application. And they all have to deal with the database technology that is in use by this application to save the notes data. And it's a database technology called Realm. Uh, you can find out more about it by going to realm.io. The two things we need to turn on here in capabilities for our intense extension is app groups and data protection. So let's go ahead and turn on data protection. Talk about that for a moment. Data protection is a way for us to modify how iOS is protecting data that our application is saving to disk. In this case, Realm stores a database file on disk that we access to get our notes data. And I have set up the data protection so that the data is protected until the first authentication by the user. So we've set it up that way so that we can access the data through our extensions, through SiriKit, even when the device is locked. 
Now the other thing we need to do with this is because we're using a extension to interact with our database, we need to be able to store our database file in a location that both our primary application and our intense extension can access. That is a technology called app groups. So let's make sure app groups is turned on. Now I already have some existing app groups, so I'm blocking out some of them, but I do have a group already for my notes called group.edu.jonathanadaily.mynotes. So I'm going to check that box to enable that group set up for this application. If you don't have anything here, you can click the plus button to create a new group, or you can create a new group on the Apple Developer Portal. The uh, name for the group always starts with group dot or group period, and then a reverse DNS name for the group. Now I already have a group set up for the primary application, but I'm going to turn it on here. The other thing you'll need to do once you have your group set up is you'll need to go into the Realm folder and inside of the database model.swift file, you'll need to write out your group ID in this property. Now this global property has the app group ID saved within it so that Realm can use it when it is storing its database file so it can be stored in the correct location so that it is accessible to anything using that group ID. Now that we have that set up, the last thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our intense extension is going to have access to Realm because Realm is what is used to store our notes. So if we want to create a new note through Siri, we need to be able to access that database. So in order to do that, we need to take the Realm framework files and actually make copies of them that we can use to link to from our intense extension. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on our My Notes project and say show in Finder. So this opens our project hierarchy of files inside of Finder. We need to go into our Realm folder and find our Realm Swift.framework and Realm.framework. Go ahead and highlight both of those files by shift clicking on both of them. What we're going to do is drag these and make a copy of them inside of our My Notes Intent Extension folder. Go ahead and hold down the Option key when you go to release your left click so that you can make copies of them. Now these are going to be added to our project. We have separate copies, so we have one cop set of copies that can be linked to from our extension in addition to the set of copies that are linked to and embedded within our application for our primary app. So now that we have these two copied here, let's highlight them again. I'm going to click and drag them back into Xcode. And we're going to drop them inside of our intense extension folder. And we're going to basically import and add these into our project. So we can say copy items if needed. We don't need to because we've already copied them over, but we can leave that checked. And we also want the targets to only be our notes intent extension. Go ahead and click finish. Now that we have these here, when these are imported, if we go to our project settings again and go to our intense extension into the general tab, you can see that we have both Realm and Realm Swift inside of our linked frameworks and libraries. Now the reason this really matters is that we're actually going to reuse some code between our primary application and between our intense extension. We're going to be using our database model file in both of the applications, both our primary application and our intense extension. So in order to do that, we need to modify the target membership for this particular file. So with the file highlighted, we can go into File Inspector and we can click this target membership and update it to include the My Notes Intent extension. Now, if we had updated the target membership without importing these new copies of Realm and Realm Swift, we would not have been able to compile our application because the Intense extension target would not have been able to see that we had a linked copy of Realm Swift. Now that we have everything set up, we still need to let the simulator have an installed version of our application to be able to test our app with SiriKit. So we're going to make sure that My Notes, not My Notes Intent Extension, but make sure that My Notes is selected. Uh, I'm using an iPhone 8, and let's go ahead and run the application. 
And now we can see we have our application here and running just uh, as we had in the last lesson, but now it is set up and ready to go and knows that it can handle Siri.